I'd like to welcome the first family of Kohala, ladies and gentlemen, the Lim family. What a beautiful day and what a beautiful way to spend your weekend.
Kohala. Mahalo nui kako. Being quite honored to be part of the 35 year uh, lifetime celebration, actually the lifetime awardees of uh, Hawaiian music. That song was shared many, many years ago. And our kuleana, as the younger generation, I'm just saying myself, Sunny, our sister Nani, who could not be here today, but sends her aloha. Joining us today is none other than Mr. Cullen Spencer. I think he's All been right. here for four years so far. Yeah, Cullen? Aloha. Four Hands of the eight, maybe. Handsome yeah? bugger. Yeah. Ooh, he looked just as good as doggy. Nani. They look the same. They look good. Damn but I'm just <laughs> but I'm, what I'm trying to say is that you know our kuleana is really to carry on the music and really share our roots with all of you. And what you just heard was one of our very first songs that won us that contract in 1970-something. I know like you guys add in subtract so you know how old we really are. But it's 1978, they closed up the, Ki um, the Kona Inn Hotel and that song was the one that won us a contract to record with Poki Records and Pumihana Records. No Kohala. Now, you know, there was many influences. We were raised on Parker Ranch, way up in the mountains. No radio, TV. My cousin Carol Lim out there, she knows all about it. We were raised way up there. But we had our mom and dad who played music to us almost nightly. We found those old pictures from 1960-something. I don't like to say how long ago. But we saw our mom and dad singing. But Uncle Gabby and uh, Auntie Gino, they were our influences along the way. So we're going to have my brother Sonny does what he do so best. is a Kihu Ala Hawaiian song. Hula O Maki, one of our favorites, because Uncle Gary was an innovative man. His music was the renaissance of old Hawaiian time, and his kihualu was untouched. So, one of my favorites for all of you, the old style, toe tapping, ili ili clacking kind of songs. Here we go. <laughs> a couple nights at our home truly fell in love with this talented man and he and my brother Sonny would keep Kani Kapila all night and this is a memory that takes us back oh sound hula o maki let's hear it for Gabby I mean Sonny it'd be crabby it's Sonny I'm 
That's our Finger kind of music, snapping. too. Yeah, Antius, right? You know. That's our kind of music. Woohoo! That's the doggy. Kind. This is this kind of slow kind of shift when you do that kind. This next song I'd like to feature is our mom. You know, when we were young, we had like one ukulele. Still, we still got it. Get broke marks on them, get teeth marks on them, but we still play them. And we'll find one day it's going to go into archives, the archives. I'm just joking. But we still have it at home. And this is the kind of songs we did when we were young, but when we were young, we only knew the first verse in Hyena. So that's why we made plenty medleys in our old time Rambler. Okay? When we thought we had a Rambler, never had radio, and we thought we was, you know, was on Big Car when we were small. But now it won't fit on any, all six of us, that's for sure. But this is the kind of song we did, we listened, and this is our mama's favorite kind. It's the Keyhole Hula.
shadow. That's right. When you invite me, no lock the doors on me. That's what that song is telling you all about. And they went and looked in the keyhole. Yeah, when she went look in the keyhole. She said, don't lock me out. No, Let me know, in. Let me in. Most of her songs are real life experience. And when she looked through the keyhole, she realized he was kissing someone else. So there you go. Right, Auntie? And she cried. And she cried in that song. It was one of her most prolific songs, but <laughs> she was quite broken hearted. Thank God. Never had just, guns then. Yeah. <laughs> and she lucky she was in a theater. She broke the door down, right? Because I was like, Kel what? What? I, wait, and, no. and then we realized you shouldn't be fighting with the chick. We've got to leak the yeah. guy, not the girl. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, you know, yeah. You know, if you read That's why they don't make yeah. keyholes anymore. You get a slight card kind, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> Maybe check somebody's uh, old genealogy of Hawaii. Yeah. You know, Marabin. They mean. Yeah, could have been where it reversed the song. I think it was just being nice. She's just acting like she was knocking nicely, but I think she's going to broke that door down. <laughs> I mean, I'm just joking. Let me in, let me out. Make up your mind. I know, really, no? So, you know, again, Auntie, thank you so much. We are all honored to be here, and we are thanking God for this clear and beautiful skies. Yes, let's hear it. Thank you so it. much. Thanks, and, Smitty. Yes, and definitely, we know Uncle Smitty is definitely amongst us, and he is, must be so proud to see this is still carrying on for his hope for the community. And most of all, we thank all of you for coming out, braving this day with us, and really helping to support the community because it takes a village to raise a child. That's Absolutely. really the old way. All right, everybody? Absolutely. So raise it Absolutely. to the roof. And it still stands the same. So here we are. The village is sitting in front of you. Yes. And so, you know, there's many songs that have touched our lives. May it be country western, English, Hawaiian, and every, every now and then a couple of uh, foreign languages as well. But this is one of those songs that really brings it down. And I, we at Sunny wanted to do this very special song. And I know all of you join us with the same thought and heart in mind. I just found my, photo, uh, my old videos of Uncle Smitty singing last year, here on stage singing with Makana Kanaka Vai Vai. So it really touched my heart, if any of you guys remember that. That was one of his very first, um, one of his very last times on stage. But he know, we know he's here with us. So this song is for all of you, as well as we know it's for Uncle. Oh, yeah, a couple of, um, I think it was two years ago. Um, I did a video for his birthday because I was going to be traveling over in Japan. And I did a video of this song. It's so strange that um, now it somehow made it onto YouTube. <laughs> and so everybody keeps they keep posting it and sending it to me on Facebook. Because now like, Facebook is like the new uh, media right. um, of keeping in touch. One for the memory of Brother Smitty. Love can break your heart. Heaven. 
of you begging please begging You. That was very precious. Thank you so much. It's the Lim family singers. You've heard of the Von Trapp family singer. What? You're laughing? Yeah. I mean, they have Mama here, Auntie Mary Ann, a total treasure. Yes. She is my treasure. I call you Auntie Treasure from now on. Hiki no, Auntie Vaihona is good. <laughs> <laughs> Auntie Vai Vai is good too. <laughs> Just joking. Indeed, a song that touched our heart. You know, we're, at this moment when it came back, I said, you know, we have to do all those old favorites that we continue to forget. So I want to feature our mom because we're so glad that we still get to share the stage years and years later with her. Yes. So, you know, before I came along as a singer at a very young age, 13, 14, here my sister and my mom was a singer. This is a song that was a favorite of our dad's. It uh, takes us to the island of Oahu. Kauhale o Kamapua talks about the home of Kamapua in a place called Nuuanu Valley. And O Kihu Alu style. As we have sun, is tuned in, tuned down. I don't know exactly where. Oh, wait, Kihu Alu means slack. I guess he's slacking it out. Okay. But this is an old favorite of ours. And if you guys remember that Brown album as well, not the Uncle Gabby one, but the Uncle Kawai Cockett. He was one of those first recording uh, artists who did this song years ago and tells you of the beauty of Nu'uanu. So we've got to make sure that mom hangs on to what she did and shared her beautiful voice with my sister, oh. myself, and my brother. Oh my and here we go. Hanging on. In the meanwhile... That's that... You know, we have, uh, we're glad to be here today. It's been a busy week. For, um, well, it's been a busy couple, three months for all of us. We all meet home last week, Saturday, for a concert, and we all go different places of the universe and come back again and go that way and go back and go different places. That universe, I meant uh, world. <laughs> Japan, all over the place. All right, and so, future, the future yeah, could be universe. Yeah, yeah, yeah pretty soon, it. pretty soon. I'll meet you on Mars, I'm just saying. But um, today we have a quite a busy day. We're going to be down in Kona Side. Um, and supporting uh, the food bank of Kona Side. So if you feel like you're on a Kona Side and want to hear so more Hawaiian music, we'll be down on that side. Myself, Sunny, and, and Kalen are part of Lorna Lim and Polinahi. And we would like to also feature our Hello Naleo Koholoku. They'll be sharing the day with us. Because this year, well, actually last year, my sister graduated 12 of us to become Kumuhulas, and they'll be there with me. It's going to be awesome. So mahalo nui. So we support the island music communities and the food bank of Hawaii. Because yes, we got to give back to the community for supporting us and the music that we truly love to do. So featuring the voice of our mom and another Kiho Alo Hawaiian style. Slack to 